This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. And uh, hello after, uh, what, about uh, almost two weeks off, actually. We took off our our uh, long winter's nap, as I call it, uh, in which we do kind of a, uh, you know, a thing. Uh, kind of a, 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 just a lot of repeats, okay? But here we are. We're back with you, uh, attempting to do something here which is relevant. And uh, we're going to keep doing it till we get it right. But as we do each and every, uh, let's see here on uh, on uh, um, uh, what what's the day today? Uh, on uh, the first, the Monday, uh, Wednesday. I'm out of it. Hold on a second. I'm trying to do things here at the same time. Um, every Wednesday uh, is we uh, we uh, go in and we we check in with one of our our favorite favorite people in the whole world. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm. What is that? You, 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 you've got your green screen, but it's showing the rest of your room. Oh, well, you know, uh, I'm just going to have to put up with it for now. Uh, I've got to buy one like yours. No, 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 no. That isn't it. You just should, you should have yourself bigger and framed more. You're oh, framed okay. terribly in there. All right. Well, I, I just did a quick... Quick thing, uh, uh, Obedia didn't call me back to set up Who's the Who's Obedia? Where do you find these these pieces of shit that you're using for equipment? Uh, from uh, Personas. They no. recommended Obedia yeah, as a yeah. company. Yeah, yeah, Personas is another piece of crap. <laughs> well, hey, welcome back. Now, uh, you, you, what you do is you buy your equipment based upon how much money it costs. <laughs> No, if I wanted that, yeah. there's other ones that are yeah. far but, more expensive. But look up at the it. very corner. See, I mean, see how bad that is. You know, yeah. you, you, yeah. you, you yeah. got to You've got to Don't you have a way that you can make your picture bigger? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 me, yeah. Bring it in. Yeah. Let me let me make that smaller. Let me break, make this bigger. No, no, you got to make your you 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 got to Don't you have a program that changes the size and stuff of your picture? Oh, there we go. Now yeah. you got to make it go up and down. But yeah. You know, well, now you make it make it go the way. other way. Other way. All other right. Way. Keep uh, going. Keep going. Keep going. Stein? And now make it ov go over to the left a little bit here. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the other way. See? No, no, I, I no. Sit, no. Other I don't way. You want to go to the there, left? There you go. C center. No. Go over again. The other way. Other way. Other okay. Way. Other way. Other way. A little bit more. There we go. And now up. Up. Up, uh, okay, up, up, okay. It doesn't go any further up. This okay, is. well, that's the best you're going to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do we, hey. have, do we have to uh, go through this every back. week? What? Welcome back to the uh, ramble. Yeah, I, I really don't want to be here, but, you know. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, you know, just uh, uh, go to black. Hey, yeah. uh, did you get COVID? Uh, did I get COVID? No, yeah. no. No? Okay. Well, yeah. you'd said that Marjorie was exposed to someone, or you and Marjorie, Marjorie were exposed Marjorie. to someone that tested positive, and I was just... Marjorie uh, 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 was exposed by her accountant at the work. Yeah. The accountant was supposed to, you know, sit next to her and work on the books, and then yeah. uh, two days later, he wrote her and said, oh, I just po tested positive for COVID. Yeah. So we're thinking, that's it. We got COVID, and we wait. It's been like two weeks now. We don't have any COVID. So, oh, and and uh, who who got the test? Uh, Marjorie or you? No, no, no. Neither of us got the test. Oh, we just you didn't just... get it. Oh, that that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, if we if we if if we were to test it and we were positive, we would have gotten it already. You know, but we do have we do we did send away for some of the home tests 
things. Oh, how do you send away for those? Where do you go? You, 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 uh, you go online and you go to various sites that sell these things and buy them. Oh, uh, I Haven't thought you heard they were... about it. It's called the intranet. No, nah, I thought they were free from the government. Oh, it's... no, this wasn't free from the government. This was 20 bucks for two of them. Oh, I thought it was like government cheese. You know, mm. you get the cheese or you can get the no, COVID no. test or you can get both. Uh, no, the government know. doesn't even know where to get them. OK, let's face it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, OK, well, uh Okay. I just wanted to, to let you know, I am a friend of Donald Trump. I got a piece of mail today. Mm -hmm. I haven't opened it yet. It's from my president, Donald J. Trump. Well, he's not president anymore. It says right up there that he's president. Does it say president? Well, he can still call himself president, can't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, That's the sad part about it, you know. Let's let's see what he's got. Okay, open up the envelope and put it up to your forehead, and we'll give you the answer. What's a pe who's a piece of shit? Well, it's a it's a 2022 member statement. Uh, my membership is pending, and the amount requested is thirty five dollars. Well, I guess he thinks I'm a cheap screw. Now. Wait a minute. Now, let me get this straight. Isn't this guy supposed to be a billionaire? Yeah, but so uh, why does he come hat in hand trying to get money out of you? Well, uh, this is uh, from the uh, Republican National Committee, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, they spelled my name right, uh, and they're and they're looking for thirty five bucks now. Uh, if it, it's on his stationery, see, look, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not that you know, it's not that hard to. Uh, uh, Getting out of focus a little bit, but uh, and, and it's got his signature. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm very impressed. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess I'll put that in the grinder because I'm not giving any more money. <laughs> not good money after bad, right? I gave him enough. You know, I got. I, uh, he wanted to get elected. I did my part. Uh, it, it, you know, it wouldn't have mattered how much I gave. Uh, if you oh you know something I forgot to put your picture on oh that, well that that, that 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 see th this is what happens when I come back after a long vacation I don't remember to do yeah. that so nobody had to see you adjusting the picture and all of that okay now they can well, see you yeah but I'm not really in focus I don't know why yes you are uh, yes you are oh. all right you're in focus uh, uh, the background is. No, you but, are. Uh, you are. You're in focus, too. Okay. You know, hey, luckily, uh, people didn't have to see us going through that whole thing of, uh, you know, well, setting up your missed, picture and stuff. You missed how the salami is made. And yeah, uh, yeah. people want to know. Uh, hey, by the way, you're a Nikon fan, right? No. Well, you bought uh, Nikon for Marjorie. Yeah, because she's a Nikon fan. Well, uh, today I got an email mm -hmm. that I am uh, within 10 days of receiving my new camera. Uh, Nikon uh, sent out to their what they call NPS members, which is their Nikon Professional mm -hmm. Services members. Oh, yeah, okay. You're another sucker for that. Well, it's free. Uh, but if you pre-ordered... Uh, and it's not easy to become a Nikon professional. You have to be recommended by uh, another. Either that or be a sucker for their cameras. Yeah, well, I'm getting the Z9. Have, have you seen what they say about that on the Internet? Or no, you, I, the, I don't. Film cameras. Is this still a film camera? It's 8K as well. It's 8K. So, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's terrific. It'll take uh, up to 120 frames a second on uh, the regular camera, but those aren't raw. It'll take uh, 20 raw a second. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you, you would probably get more listeners if you had, uh, like, a, a photo show. Cause, uh, you want to do a photo show? I got a lot of free time. Maybe, maybe eventually, you know, it might be interesting. Uh, you know, people like photo. There's learn how this... learn how to overspend for a camera with Phil. I think that's what we'll we'll call the uh, the show. This one guy I know, Jared Poland, he's got a million mm. and a half followers on YouTube, and a, another guy I know, Matt I don't Gr care. Got six hundred thousand. I don't care. Oh, 
you know, all they do is they open up cameras. There, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a little girl somewhere out in the Midwest who has like 10 million followers. That's because if you pay on Patreon, she'll strip for you. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so, well, you know what I we bought? Uh, no, tell me. What did oh, you buy? Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, and mine's not? <laughs> well, we bought two things. Yeah. Uh, I had our printer go out, so I bought a new printer. Yeah, what'd you get? I got another uh, HP. Uh-huh. And it's just like the old HP, only it's the more modern, newer version it costs 150 bucks more than the old one did. Yeah, but the ink they really get you on because it lasts for about seven pages. Well, I don't, then, I don't, I don't go for their ink. I, I go get my own ink. You know, yeah. I go get uh, the stink ink. Yeah. Well, uh, you didn't uh, buy the one that uh, Shaquille O'Neal hawks. It's a Epson where you. They oh, give, it, 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 it's it, it's it, it's got the paint. It's got the. Just yeah, the, the things, and and you add the ink. You add the ink. It, 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 it's all they're still all going to charge you the same amount of money for the goddamn uh, ink. According to them, they give you a year and a half or three years worth of free ink. Uh, I forgot whether it's a year and a half. Yeah, or three but they years. determine how much you're going to need. Well, if you, you know uh, the thing with HP is you can get their thing, and they you know it, the machine will actually send a message to them that you need more ink. And then they'll right. send you more ink, but they'll only send it to you in various packets of like a hundred pages. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So I just as soon go out, buy the cheap ink for about sixty bucks, get probably twice the amount of use out of it, and uh, you know, so that's that's money. Is that why you had to replace your machine because the cheap ink? No, because it. the thing when it said it was printing and nothing came out. Oh. So after a while, I just said to hell with it. So I called uh, Insta Instacart wrote to, uh, and ordered a, a, a you know an HP uh, printer and it was here within an hour unbelievable you know so anyway so that that was that that was our one mm -hmm. but yeah. we, well, we had a bigger bigger uh, buy that we did this is exciting refrigerator stove uh. <laughs> our stove our oven yeah. Is is not you put it on four hundred and it goes up to four hundred, but then while it's cooking, it goes down to three hundred and two hundred and one hundred and fifty, and it doesn't hold, which means something's wrong with the thermostat, which I could have fixed. But this thing is eighteen years old, so we just decided get rid of it. You know, so we we have a new one coming. So we're getting a brand new stove that has Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi in the stove. Wi-Fi in the stove. Yeah. So, what you can tell your phone to start dinner. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, it it can hook up to um, um, uh, Echo, the Alexa, yeah. and then you just say, you know, uh, turn turn the oven on to three fifty, and we want to cook for an hour or something like that. You know, and yeah. it'll just do the do it for you. Yeah. Now, with all of those signals running around your apartment, you're not afraid of cancer. Oh, I'm afraid of cancer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe I'm going to be more susceptible to it. And the other thing I'm uh, looking at online is uh, what are the symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia? Those, those are, those Don't are worry. The By the time you look it up, you won't remember. That's true. <laughs> you know, that, that's how I spend my mornings. Uh, oh, here's the seven signs of, uh, of dementia. Yeah. Early dementia. Yeah. yeah, early dementia. Uh, that's in the morning. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I, I that's, uh, that's, you know, uh, that, that's, uh, there's my thrilling buy for the, you know, things that break that you got to replace. Yeah. So it well, cost us, it cost us uh, 12 95 for the uh, stove and it cost us uh, about uh, 2 75 for the printer. Something like that, 2 25 I can't remember. What? Live in large. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten to the point where, hey, I just I just spend the money. What the hell? You know, this, when I run out, we sell Marjorie's apartment. You know? are you, is this stove gas or convection? Oh, it's that gas and convection. Really? Yeah. It, 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 they have everything. They have convection. It's convection in there. And what is it? There's one other thing it has. Uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, it, it uh, does. Uh, it fries... 
uh, things like chicken. It'll fry it without gr oil. Oh, so it's an air fryer. Air fryer. It's a, a convection, which is convection, I think. Well, that's that that's is. pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's and it's all for the price of what you would have paid for 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 a stove five years ago. You know, and they get get a lot less. So uh, and it, well, that's for the price of three meals out. So, <laughs> hey, getting on to other wonderful things. I guess you got a new mayor. What do you think of him? I, I I I hate every politician in New York State. Yeah. I, I this new guy Eric Adams. Eh. You know. I mean, so far, he doesn't float my boat. Plus, no. you know, I hear something, and this may bottom. Did you hear this? No, no, no. He, he he's a Negro. You're kidding. He's a Negro. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, but he. Uh, He's just not. I don't know. He's just not. It doesn't never appeal to me. I was. I, I would have voted for him, but only because I'm not going to go vote for the Republican. Uh, oh, Sliwa. Sliwa. No, I was going to vote for him. Oh, he was. He was a Republican. Well, he was. He's, he's a fan of mine. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you support your fans? <laughs> yeah, by not voting for them. Hey, Charlie Wallace is going to run for something, and but I'll vote for him because he's a lefty. But is he, I heard he was black. You're right. He's a Negro, too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's, well, maybe he's waiting to come on here, so he'll be one of the first people on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, hey, huh? Charlie, I don't think he posted that there's 450 yes, just, just, dead. Just did. Sure. Yeah. Is that what he posted? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What was it? In, in two days or something, we had over a million cases in America? Yeah, it's it, it's Trump's fault. But yeah. I hope everybody gets. I hope everybody gets. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, the uh, omega. The uh, omatron. Omegatron. Yeah, the omicron. Omicron. People are falling like flies out here. They're not uh, falling. They're not dying. They're getting the COVID. Yeah, and but they say there's some people in Europe now that believe, and this is science. Okay, believe that. Omicron may actually be the COVID killer. That's the Israelis. Uh, they're saying that it, it may lead to herd immunity. Well, what he's what they're saying is so many people are getting it, and by getting it, they're getting you know antibodies. Yeah. And and yet they're not getting it where it's going to kill them. Right. Okay. It's not a particularly pernicious form of this. It is a form of COVID, but it's it's. You know, some people have died of it. Some people yeah. have got been on respirators in hospitals. But for the most part, people just get a little bit of sick, especially if they've already been inoculated, and then they're okay. So there, there is a belief that maybe this might be the Omicron, the Omicron might be the COVID killer. Oh, I really hope so. It looks like each, uh, each one we've had since the first uh, car, uh, COVID-19 mm -hmm. that uh, originally came two years ago, each variant seems to be a, a little different, a little weaker. No, in not, no, not with Delta. Delta was very dangerous, yeah. much more dangerous than any of the others. Yeah. The only reason the others were more dangerous is because we didn't have any way to solve the problem. But people who got Delta uh, weren't hospitalized uh, as much if they were vaccinated. Um, if they got Delta, yeah, they didn't. Yeah. And here with uh, Omicron, uh, they're not getting particularly ill if they've been vaccinated. Yeah. You know, so. uh, but, you know, I'm seeing people uh, all over the place. If you look on Facebook, this guy says he's got uh, uh, COVID and this guy says he's got COVID. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, it's happening. It's happening more. There are more cases. And I, I think you're uh, you're right. Oh, no. Wait. Here in New York. I mean, it's like. I think one out of like four people is getting are getting it now. I mean, it's really bad. It's really well, bad. But, but if I were to get it, I probably would get a bad flu, you know. And I'd be I'd be in bed and I wouldn't like it. But after it was over, I would be more immune to it than I would be with just having the three shots. And a couple of weeks ago, I said that the numbers that they were talking about for the people that are vaccinated mm -hmm. is 
200 million. And I said that I don't think they're counting the, uh, I don't know how many million cases, was it 58 million or something, uh, cases of uh, COVID uh, that we've had over the last couple of years. And I said, I don't think they're counting those people as uh, having the antibodies, Mm -hmm. uh, the, the people that are actually took the shot. But if they did add those people into the mix, wouldn't we be closer to herd immunity? I don't know. You know, I mean, you know, right now, everybody is kind of mad at the CDC because they don't feel the CDC is giving them any kind of believable guidance. They mm-hmm. keep changing the guidance every day and they're not, you know, it, 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 it just hasn't been going very well. And a lot of people are, are questioning the CDC as well they should. You know, the CDC should have, should have been a little more cautious in, their, in what they said people should do, okay? You know how to get a better rap. Hmm? Change they, all they'd have to do is change their name to CBD and, uh, oh, yeah. you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I mean, it, I, I think that, uh, that uh, Omicron may actually wind up being the COVID killer. Uh, and we may find that there isn't a strain after this one, or if there is one, it's very weak. Yeah. You know. Uh, it'd be so nice to get back to normal. It, it uh, would be nice to get back to normal. See, my question is, and I guess Charlie will have something to say about this, and Alan's waiting to come on the line. In fact, why don't we bring up... Why don't we, waiting. <laughs> why don't we bring him on anyway, so they can maybe put their two cents worth in about this, because both of them seem to have knowledge in this area you have nothing else to do yeah but the question is hello guys how are you and i imagine phil will stick with us let me get rid of phil's name here because it's I, because I, it's I, oh, what extremely sticky mm-hmm. what'd you say i said i'm sticky oh you're sticky yeah. what do you mean you're sticky i said i'm gonna stick with you uh, oh know. you're sticking with me okay you're sticky anyway um uh, do do either of you disagree with what I'm saying about Omicron that it may wind up being the COVID killer? Yeah, because it doesn't go in 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 the, in the lungs. Apparently, it just affects the the tubes, but not the actual lung tissue itself, and so it doesn't kill you. But you still you're getting the antibodies. Yeah, you're getting the antibodies. Yeah. yeah. So now that makes it harder for COVID to come get you. So if you've yeah. already had the shots and so on, and you still get a breakthrough. You're going to be doubly protected by having had the antibodies. Am I right or am I wrong, Alan? Yeah, it's it's a it's a mess. So if you if you get you 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 end up with some antibodies. By the way, are, none yeah. of what he says is medical advice. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm let me just say doctor. that so people don't take this mm. as medical. Well, yeah, advice. I have. So I have a I have a degree in biology, medical biology. I don't want to have the same fate as Joe Rogan. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah. No, I, yeah. You, so um, from what I know about it is that, uh, uh, you know, the, the news is comparing it to South Africa. They recovered quickly. The thing is, in South Africa, the average age is 26 years old. That isn't true in England mm-hmm. or in America. Mm-hmm. And so you still yeah. don't want to get it. And, uh, you know, uh, will it add to people, you know, people that, don't have the vaccine, get it and survive it, uh, we'll have some antibodies. Um, but will it add to anything for you and me, the rest of us that have been vaccinated and boosted? Probably not really. It, well, we don't, we don't know, but, but the, there is a theory, as I say, the Israelis are, are, believe this, and several other countries are starting to think about this in these terms, that really Omicron may be the COVID killer. You know, it, it, it's possible. It's possible. But I think Omicron is going to be around in some it, it'll be endemic like like uh, versus pandemic. Mm-hmm. Endemic is like the flu. Mm-hmm. It comes seasonally and stuff. I think I think we will continue to have. Well, every year, COVID. like you get a flu shot, you'll get a COVID like, shot. Yeah, because COVID will continue forever in our lifetimes. Um, one of the things that uh, one of the uh, virologists said is that you know, people are concerned about how long they need to get a COVID shot. And he said, probably the rest of your lives. 
Okay. He said, so one of the flu shots that we get, we all get three or four different shots for flus to protect us, mm-hmm. goes back a hundred years to the Spanish flu. It, it's it's one of the one of the things that's in a yearly shot. So, wow. you know, it's over a hundred years old that flu, and we're still getting the vaccine for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you are out of focus, Phil. Yeah. I heard you. I didn't see you. Oh wait, a minute. my my eyesight has been terrible lately. Let me look and see if he's out of focus. <laughs> the, the wallpaper is clear, Phil. Yeah. yeah. You don't but look you that. Out, you don't look that out of focus. Did you change cameras or something, Phil? Turn the, you got a really bright light on your bald spot. If you turn the light down, maybe, <laughs> maybe that would help. I'll have to turn it off. It's got my drapes up again. Yeah. yeah. yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it almost makes your drapes look good, Tony. That's right. That's you know what? He's included in mine. I got to have to take these down to throw them for a loop. I'm afraid to take them down. My sister's dying to take them down. Alex, I think I had COVID the other on uh, Monday or Sunday. You had on uh, Monday. You had a touch of the COVID, did you? I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. I went to my sister's for Christmas Eve, right? Yeah. She says, "Come yeah. on over, yeah. you and my brother." It's all right. We'll come over. Mm-hmm. So I went over for dinner, right? My brother-in-law, his his brother came down from Jersey, and and his family, mm-hmm. a couple of people. Mm-hmm. So I stayed for like two hours. They ate dinner because we just walked home then. I got a couple of days later, she called me and says, how are you feeling, Ed? I says, I'm feeling right. Don't put anything in my head. I'm like you, Alex, because I'll go crazy. <laughs> she says, why? What's the matter, man? Well, don't get nervous because you're boosted up. I says, yeah, I'm boosted. I says, all right, who had COVID at the party? I said, Darren's brother, Dougie, he tested positive. Why did you go I, to a party? And she, exactly. You, you, I fucking, go. Wait, you fucking moron. Exactly. <laughs> Christmas Eve, I couldn't eat fish at all. Right? My brother was making pasta at home just for us. I was going to watch It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. She's giving me the, she's giving me, come on, mommy would want you to come over. Oh. I said, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Mommy would want me to stay home. Mom's, mom's dead from COVID, okay? <laughs> exactly. So mom, what does mom know? So then get this, right? So get this. I'm listening to what Alex said. Why is Shecky on the trip? I'm reading the news. The bolts are getting hit. You hit it on the head. Right? No Nostradamus. Alex, the bolts, I'm reading the news. Are all getting hit with COVID. I says, and I says, and I went to my sister's fucking house like a moron. I kid you not, I'm watching a football game Sunday, right? So my brother's girlfriend comes over to him. Hey, you want to go see Spider-Man? I'm on the couch. I'm like, Greg, I says, I think I got flu. Or I got this fucking, oh, Alex, I was knocked out. Like, And I'm usually up. Watching the games, flipping the channel. I don't I think went that. To sleep at ten o'clock. It, to begin with, uh, don't drink coffee before you come on the show. I know I'm drinking it again. Yeah, no, just here. don't drink coffee <laughs> before you come on the show. I'm Please, sorry, Tony. Well, anyway, I was. Well, no, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. You don't just get COVID. Like I didn't feel well that night, and so I went to bed. And you got up the next morning. You were fine, right? No, I was still tired Monday, Alex. I was trying to ship out my comics. I went to the post office, ran home. And then remember what you just said to Phil? I said, I'm going to go get one of these fucking COVID tests to take home. I went to CVS. We're sold out. I went to Wayland's. We're sold out. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Haven't you Where's watched the news? Bodies? Haven't you watched the news? They're all sold I out, Tony. Yeah. I haven't even watched it. And then I said, I can't get shit. I said, my sister's like, don't worry about it. You're not going near anybody. I didn't. I feel better now. Maybe I kind of wore it out then. I was tired, Alex. Doesn't happen next time. Checking on me. Get, get, call your doctor and go get a PCR test. Oh, I went to the urologist. He went right up there too, Alex. Oh, wow. what, what does that have to do with COVID? Yeah, really. I got scared. I got raped in the office. I'm telling you, it was horrible. <laughs> he wouldn't let me go, Alex. My, 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 my doctor, like my doctor uh, you know, inserted something in my ass, uh, my urologist. And, uh, then, I, then, I, then, I, then I told him, would you please uh, take your hands off my shoulders? You know, he had me scared. I was worried. He says, everything is smooth. Nothing to worry about. Come back for blood work. Oh, I was like, oh, my God. I said, I'm officially old. I God, said. he is all coffeeed up tonight, isn't he? I am. Really, I'm like know, a nervous the right. part that is not I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm on like a mixture of uh, Why? vanilla the part blend t- and regular. The part Tony's not telling you is he had an erection the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, um, um, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, thank you for the, all your participation tonight tony it's really good yeah <laughs> well, you better have COVID after that you know but the other two days i was like totally out of it 
Hey, Alex. My sister got, yeah, I think yeah. I had a touch of the syphilis over the weekend, but I'm not sure. I was thinking when I was in the office, Alex, and I don't believe this. I'm officially old. I said, my doing it. He tonight because he thought he was on Jack's show. Oh, really? Oh, oh okay. Can't keep you what happened? You got cut off, Phil. What did you oh, say? I think Tony was active tonight because he thought it was the Jack's show. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so what is it you bought, Phil? You said you were working on something. You were installing something. What the, a new audio board? Well, my Personas came back a few months ago from being repaired, but and I it was. And by the way, it was negative. Anyway, go ahead. Oh really? Oh, he, oh no, I thought he had a test. So I, uh, I, I plugged in all the things I had to plug in, but I don't know how to program it. It's too complicated. So. There's a service that I uh, subscribe to mm -hmm. that uh, can get on my computer and set everything Why up. Why don't you do this? Why don't you get what I got and you just plug it in and plug in all your microphones and you're good to go. That's the other one. That's the one I'm using is the uh, one I bought when this one went down. I bought this cheap one and uh, and it's easy. You plug it in and it's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's even got a tube. Kind of, audio. I, I, I'm sorry I even asked. Kind of, you know, mm. Yeah, because we'll get a complete explanation on how he overspent for something. He spends like a drunken sailor. I'm telling you. Uh, no, drunken sailors sober up eventually. Yeah. Longer am I going to be around? And you know, if I get Alzheimer's dementia, you know, I'm already constipated. That's one of the mm. seven signs. Is so, it really? Yeah. Yeah. You should do those. Oh, I, I think I think my pro, I think my prostate cancers come back. I think. Really? No, I can't come back. You got zapped, didn't you? Yeah, well, I mean, it probably can't come back for about five years. They can come back. Yeah. I came back after a year and a half. It came really? Back? Wow. Yeah, it was a year and a half after they took out the prostate, and then I uh, went through seven weeks of radiation, and the last two tests that I've had showed uh, uh no psa well then how how did it come back uh when there was some that must have been in the blood uh you know some of the things when they took it out and uh, uh eventually it came back and when no, you know but if it came back what did they do when it came back i got radiation every day for seven weeks oh really and then it went away Okay. And, uh, I'm sure yeah. I'm sure everybody out there watching this, uh, this certainly gets the young listeners, doesn't it? I'm nervous, Rick. It's what's it's better because it's going to happen to them. Yep. 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 I just got news that my 24 year old nephew who says that he takes care of everything. He's got he's been boosted. He's just turned positive for COVID. He lives with my 90 year old mother. Oh, and now God. she's a wreck. She's and so yeah i mean can you you, you, you know I, what we're doing we're not going out at all i don't even want to go out anymore. but then again we didn't go out before room. so you know it doesn't i, can't I go to i go to dinner to a restaurant mm -hmm. and if it's busy i won't eat in there i won't eat inside either i'll eat inside i, I won't even go out. i'm not even taking the chance you know if i have to go to the store for groceries I go to the store for groceries, but what we're doing is we're ordering everything from Instacart and from Fresh Direct. And oh, I like from, the Fresh Direct, Alex. I like that. You know, it was a, we get stuff from Zay Bars and Instacart. We get stuff from Costco on Instacart. We get stuff from Fairway and Instacart. We don't we don't go out shopping, you know. I like the Fresh Direct. Too. Yeah, you I mean, and right stuff. now in New York, it's just it's like you you go out and you think you're actually going to see COVID in the air. Yeah. You know, you're going to see these little spike things well, floating you, around. Yeah, you know, with, with, Om, with Omicron, the six foot staying away from people is now 12 feet. Oh, really? It goes, it goes out farther. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I you told Marjorie. You're, you're smart, Alex, to stay home. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I just, I, I, I mean, I'd like to go out. I'd like to take a walk. But then again, we're very lucky because the temperature right now is 41 degrees and it's going down tonight and it's supposed to snow overnight so am i, I going to go out for a walk i don't think so no. Marge, yeah. we post something earlier that said it was 19 degrees yes I this like morning when she got up she looked at her you know at her iphone and uh, she made a, a screen wow. grab of it and it was 19 degrees wow 
That's that's cold. Damn cold. Yeah, yeah. that's that's uh, that's. Um, if it's sixty degrees, Phil's complaining. Balls climbing yeah. up into yeah. your throat, cold. Me too. You know. Oh, I love the cold weather. No kidding. You love the cold weather. I like cold better than hot. Yeah, me too. Because I can sleep so much better. Like I throw a blanket, I watch TV, and I like I just sleep better in the winter. I've been sleeping nine hours every day, man. Oh, that's good. You're supposed to get a good eight. Yeah, well, a good eight. Now, as you get as you get older, sometimes it's harder to sleep. And if you're getting nine hours sleep, that's great. Alex. Well, I take yeah. I take I take I, every night. I, 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 I take my pregabalin. Oh, you and, and it puts I'm me out, but, I mean, but it also yeah. makes it impossible for me to figure out how to do stuff anymore. You know. My brother's looking at me on the couch with my warm blanket on like I'm not nuke of the north. I'm not leaving the house. Leave me alone. Hey, not look, look, we haven't even paid any attention. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, can somebody cut the audio on Tony for five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks, sounds like we cut the audio on John Larkin because he hasn't yeah. said anything to me. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm just listening. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, How you doing, well, Jeff? Happy New Year. Yeah. What did y'all do for New Year? What did you What did you do for New Year? Uh, you know, uh, um, what did I do? I, I um, oh, I just went to a couple of bars, you know, in my in, that you know in the in, in around the town and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, you know, I went home early. I, I wasn't feeling too good. I mean, you know, I just I drank too much, so I went home early. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. Just I as did, long as you I, stayed safe and, you know. I, I watched Miley Cyrus or whatever her name is with, uh, on Shaking Her Ass on oh, TV. You, you watched Miley Cyrus drop the ball? No, no. She was shaking her ass on uh, some. It was called the My, Miley Cyrus and Pete, Pete Davidson. Welcome she, in the new year. Yeah. Hey, John, she, her top came off. I thought there was a boob exposure. Pretty much, yeah. Well, her ass was hanging out. I mean, and they, they, somebody, you say that like that's a bad thing. Oh, right? it's great! <laughs> somebody handed her a blazer after her top fell off. Yeah, and she finished the show wearing this red blazer. Yeah. Hmm. Gotta yeah. hate when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Get she she blazer. doesn't have like Charlie says. Boy, she you guys she doesn't, like as they say thing. in the South, have bigin biggins. Uh, she's Very nice. She's but got a the, nice ass. A nice ass, yeah. It's yeah. somebody's daughter. Hmm? It's somebody's daughter, actually. Yeah, Billy but Ray it, Cyrus. It, Billy Ray Cyrus. So anybody with a mullet, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, she's somebody's daughter. For, that's for damn sure. Uh, and, and then you got... Can, will somebody explain to me why Pete Davidson is a thing? <laughs> Playing Joe Ramon, too. I can't see it. The Who? kids love him. Who? He's playing yeah. Joey Ramone in the Netflix documentary. I'm pissed off about it. I can't see He's pay, playing Joey Ramone? I was going to tell you, that, can you see any of Joey Ramone in this guy? I can't see it. It's a terrible choice, I think. It's a horrible choice. I was gonna, I, exactly. I would have thought that kid Adam Driver could have been Joe. Uh, there are a lot of people that could be Joe, Joey Ramone. But I mean, Pete Davidson, Alex? I mean, Joey Ramone was a good friend of mine. I know, I'm so, and, and, uh, that's and, one of my highlights of knowing you, that you knew Joey. Yeah. That's like, oh, he's I, my favorite. I technically, I they referred to me as the fifth Ramon, you know. Oh, I would have loved uh, to see him. It was, uh, but, I, but no, I knew, I knew Joey, and Joey used to, you, Joey used to sleep on the couch at the radio station waiting for me to come that. into work. Alex, he was that tall, Alex? He seemed really tall. Oh, he was really tall. Yeah. He was really, yeah. Yeah, really tall. A nice guy, sweet guy. That's what they all say. He was like, but, really... but, no, but not Pete Davidson. No, I mean, I am disgusted by it. I mean, I don't, who am I? But I'm like, you got to be kidding me. They couldn't find a nobody to play it. And, you know, what's with him? I mean, he gets, uh, who was uh, who, who was the first woman he was going out with that he got all uh, all crazy about? And then she dumped him and she he tried to commit suicide. Uh, oh, really? I didn't even know. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah. 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 Really? And then uh, then uh, a couple other people. Now he's with Kim Kardashian. Really? Oh my God! I mean, That's he must have the longest. The rounds, huh? He must have the longest penis in America because really? okay. because looks ain't going to do it for him. It's like a tripod. Davidson. Yeah. Pete Davidson. I know. I know. 
we ever do? Uh, how would I rest? Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. Night Live. Okay. He called with Darby 9-11. He was a fireman, I think. I haven't watched his that. Father, his father was killed in 9-11. In 9-11, he was a fireman. fireman. Was he really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. that was only in that well, movie. Was on the fourth no. No, he's, he's, he, 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 if you Google him, Pete Davidson, his father uh, was an uh, uh, a, uh, NYFD firefighter that was killed in one of the towers. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, it's true. So we have and to go easier. So that means we have to go. Jew. That means we have to go easier on him. I think yes. I, I mean, his father was a hero. I mean, I mean, I don't know the. I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I don't but Pete Davidson wasn't a hero. Okay. No, you're right about that. I mean, I have nothing. I don't know who. I just know he's on. I just like Joe Ramone. I was like, you got. I'm still a little up in wrong arms about this. Probably I didn't know he was going to play Joey Ramone. You know, if you had a, another. Well, I thought Ramone was vomiting. I said, really? That's a bad casting. Joey, Joey is Pete. I don't see any. I can he even act? I don't even know. He's more of a comedian. But I mean, Boy, not that you I and coffee do not get along. Yeah, blame my sister. She gave me all these blends, so now I'm mixing them together and trying. Oh, jeez. You should mute me. I out drink coffee. Just, I drink you know, coffee here, and you don't hear me. You know. Coffee gets me all pumped up. In fact, I watch in fact you, you, you sound on coffee morning. like most people I know sound like on Coke. That's you're right. That's me. This is my vice. Yeah. I can stay up all night watching old TV shows. Now that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we you know what we did? We 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 binge watched over the weekend. Yellowstone. Um, Yellowstone, yeah. You like that? I heard you talking about it. You like it. It's, it's a good, good show. Yeah. yeah, I didn't check that out. I got it in my... Uh, what'd you say? Uh, what'd you say? How many seasons? Uh, four. Oh, you you binged the whole four seasons? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I, I've watched all four seasons. I watched the finale the other night. The finale was, eh, you know, it, it looked like it could have been the last show of the last season and not well not they always do every show like it's the last show of the last season because they don't know if they're going to get another season they are okay. getting another season this is uh is one of the more most popular shows lately on uh well the thing uh, is the next uh, the next one they're doing the shooting in may and it comes out next march a week a year from this march and i'm thinking to myself fine but i may be dead by then <laughs> you know uh, couldn't you do it a little faster, if you don't mind? You know. Well, you know, it, it's a good show. I really enjoy it. Matter of fact, I told uh, a friend of mine who doesn't watch it, I said, is this really popular show? And there's a lot of popular music uh, that, that's around it. And he's a PD uh, mm -hmm. for Country Western Station. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said, why don't you start featuring the music of Yellowstone? I don't know if he's done it. You know, know, you know what bothered me about the third, fourth season, though? Too many horses chasing cattle. Well, that's what they do. No, but, a... but no, there were just just ten minutes at a time of people of cowboys chasing cattle, and and you know, I mean, I didn't want to, I didn't sign up to see rodeo. I signed up to see a show with a plot. Well, that was part of the plot because you know the kid that they sent to Texas uh, had to learn how to be a cowboy. Uh, I don't want to be a, uh, a spoiler, but, uh, you know, it, 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 it was a good show. I, has everybody watched it here? Or no. Just... No, most of the people look like here look like they haven't watched it. And nobody else has watched it here, right? Besides did did they talk about that part of the park where you can murder somebody? Yeah. Get away with them? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's called the train station. The train station. They refer to it as the train station. Hey, hey, let me take you to the train station. It's right. It's right over the uh, the uh, the uh, state line into Wyoming, and they say that people uh, drop bodies there because nobody looks. You know, and well, nobody no cares. You can't be prosecuted. There's no jurisdiction there. Oh, really? Is that was that the thing? You yeah. can't get a fair trial. Oh, so you've seen the show? No, I just know about the story about the. Uh, it's called the. Uh, the dead zone or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's true? There really is that? Uh, well, technically. I mean, I wouldn't test it. I wouldn't kill anybody and see if well, you can get it's probably not true it. now. In 1883 well, or whatever, yeah. So what did you do on New, what did you do on New Year's, Phil? Uh, New Year's, I was probably asleep by 9. Hmm. New Year's Day, I was supposed to have uh, lunch with a friend of mine, and she came down with COVID. Uh, so that got canceled, and I ended up not going to uh, Mill Valley to the Buck Buckeye. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
And then uh, Sunday. What did I do Sunday? Did I have lunch with you, Alan? Sunday? Yes, yes. And you see how place. memorable that was, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, there was like four people. This restaurant could probably seat 400 people, and there were four people there. Uh, Alan, myself, Faye, and Alan's roommate. So, you know, yeah. it, okay. it was... Uh, yeah, it was okay. We we had a good, nice lunch. And of course, I know that on uh, on New Year, uh, um, Charlie spent New Year with me. Yeah. We did. Yeah, a... I didn't see that. I, I I saw the show afterwards. Yeah, I I, I loved your comment about uh, you know Alan wanted to come on the Monday show. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to worry about that. It's too early for me to get up. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. It was cute though. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I was hoping you weren't listening when I said it, but, you know. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I wasn't listening to the show live, but I, I played it back later on. I found it. it was cute. Well, it's just, you know, it's funny. On that show, there's a very nice mix of people. And they're all very civil with each other, and they yeah, don't argue. Yeah, I've watched the show, and, and I probably wouldn't fit well in the mix. And they don't get political. And it's just, why I don't call. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, we, you know, we have a nice time. You know, I had I actually had somebody who wrote me and was fearful that on New Year's Eve, Alan was going to call. I was yeah, fearful. Yeah. And um, I had to inform the person that, well, if he calls, I got to answer. OK, you know, I mean, that's the way I am. You know, he wants to be part of the mix. Fine. Uh, I, I thought I would come on one Monday and turn my mic off. And just say, and just I, sit there and, 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 and just, just be a square, yeah, yeah. But uh, I like when Andrew Deutsch is on, he's really funny. he's very funny, yeah, he is, he's very oh. funny. Uh, but it's it's a whole it, it, it's some of our people, but basically, it's a whole different mix, you know, so it has a whole different feel about it. I call it the nice show, you know. Uh, and I was saying the other day that. I say so much about how much I love the Monday show, the pop-up show, that I feel that my people on the Ramble are getting to feel like I, I'm taking, um, uh, what can I call it? Uh, I'm, I'm favorites. You're playing favorites. I'm playing favorites. Yeah, you know, like I have a favorite child and I keep talking about them. You know, but yeah. I, but I like you guys too. You know. No, okay. Well, we like you too. Yeah. Well. You Thank you for the ten dollars to say that, Phil. Yeah. Uh, by the way, did anybody send me a ruler? A ruler? Uh, you know, so the last show that we did. Wait a minute, it's a ruler. Here. What did I get? It was a ruler. Talcum powder. Talcum powder. And then it was you. Yeah. And 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 something else. So on the last show, I we were talking about does Amazon app anything that can get shipped to you for and bought for under a dollar. So I went on Amazon and found two or three things and shipped them to you. Okay. And they were all under a dollar a piece. The, the well, let me go over and get them. Let me go over and get them, and I'll show you what was sent. Okay. Free they were all a dollar. It probably cost more to ship them now. Than I, is it free well, shipping with your Prime? I have, yeah, I have Amazon Prime, so it costs me you know, a, a yearly fee, and that's uh, it. Okay, You're right. losing on Amazon. So first of all, um, uh, let me see here. Let me put on my... My earphones again. I was looking for da, 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 da. Here we are. Alex, okay, like first of all, this. A ruler. A ruler. 69 cents. 69 <laughs> cents on Amazon. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, very nice. How, much, so how much was this? Gold bond... It, it's supposed to be one ounce of like gold bond talcum powder, right? And yeah. And it was like eighty nine cents. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't want to spend. Too Could much. you have sent only yeah. one of these things and they would have sent it? Yeah. Oh, and Why then this. Uh, this, this is kind of like the Price is Right. So how much is this? <laughs> Let's keep the loot and keep That was also eighty nine cents. That was also eighty nine. So so total like total you spent how much was this again? Uh, the the total including tax was like uh, three dollars and twenty two cents. Wow, wow! And in free shipping, right to your door. What a waste of time for Amazon, huh? Oh, what 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 a generous sport! He has no, nothing. To do. You know, it wouldn't matter if he slept twenty four hours a day. He has nothing to do. 
Yeah, yeah except send you me. Know, Phil's just pissed because he has to work. Hey, I hired somebody today. I'm good. good. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I hope she starts Monday, so uh, I, I hope it works out. Well, you know, I don't. I, I don't think you can consider. I don't left. think consider considering employing a a prostitute is considered an employee. But yeah. if you want to <laughs> consider it that, go ahead. Yeah. Well, no, it, uh, she's a very nice person. Uh, has some experience, and uh, thank God, I, I'm real. I was starting to really burn out. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's he's really getting burnt out on on having to work. All the money he's well, it's a hard. It's very hard out. for employers to find people to work. Yeah, these days, yeah. and and part of it is, people go, "Why should I?" <laughs> you know, you can, you can uh, go to work around here at Walmart for eighteen dollars an hour, or you can go to work for Phil for fifteen dollars an hour. Hey, you know, I um, I heard that uh, on the news they said that in some parts of the country, a family of four yeah. can. Hundred and eight thousand dollars a year by not working, you know, between all of the uh, the different benefits. Right. I don't that. That's not, not, not anymore. They cut a lot BS of those benefits that. out. Yeah. Well, like I don't get any of those benefits. All I get is my uh, my social security, and we, I get my I get, have a I have about nine hundred dollars a month as my after pension. You know. Uh, Four hundred thousand dollars a month. Well, they after. just raised our uh, our social security. Yeah, but then they raised the cost of Medicare. So you, they took it with one hand and they gave it back with another. Yeah, yeah. Except yeah. for I think the Medicare is costing more than the than the, uh, than the, the Social Security. There, there are people like me that collect the Social Security, and I'm not old enough for Medicare, so I get a couple of years of uh, benefit that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I I love being on Medicare. I haven't paid a dime for medical treatment since I got on it. Well, something happened. But you you had something from the state of, of Texas, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So your supplemental is being taken care of by the state of by Texas. The state. Right. They paid the twenty percent. Medicare paid that, eight. Wow, that's nice. That's yeah. a nice deal. Yeah. Well, because you were what a teacher? What were you in? in no, it's a systems analyst. For the uh, state comptroller. Oh, okay. All right. See, that's cool. Uh, yeah. I see. Charlie, that would say mean that you're CIA. Can I Actually, say? I was recruited by the CIA. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. you know that about him? <laughs> I didn't play like baseball. He was recruited by the CIA, and really? did you, you turned him down, right? To, uh, to, uh, I turned Trump? him down. Yeah. Why'd you turn him down? Well, this was in 1976, and uh, I wasn't going to... How could I tell my friends I worked for the CIA in 1976? You're not supposed to. Uh, yeah, you're, it's supposed to be kept quiet. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to tell your family. Uh, you you got to tell your family and stuff. You know? So you, you end up, when you work for a law enforcement agency like I did, about a third of my friends disappeared when I became a cop because they were pot smokers yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and they felt I would turn them in. I wouldn't turn them in. What do I care? What did the CIA want to hire you for as a systems analyst? They wanted me to read uh, Russian scientific literature to track Russian scientific advance. Uh, do That's you know how? Do you know how to read Russian? I was fluent in Russian back in 1976. God, the things we don't <laughs> the things, things we don't yeah. know yeah, about no Tony shit, about huh? Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie, did, did you see that thing? Uh, I think it was on Netflix called The Americans. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I loved that, that first show, because I could actually yeah. understand a lot of the Russian they were talking about. That was, that was another shit. Yeah, that was Russian. Huh? I, I minored in, 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 in college. Oh, He's okay. got a PhD in a couple different things. <laughs> no, I have a PhD. No, I, uh, I, I, I was always interested in Russian literature. I loved Dostoevsky and high school. Did Crime and Punishment? That was a great book. Yeah. They, they even yeah, named yeah. a drink after Bush him, the Black yeah. Russian. Uh, I've, been, uh, I've, been, I've been binging on this podcast about the the Russian Revolution called the Revolutions. It's a, just a podcast. I don't know. I never I never really you know knew the history of Russia, but I got into this podcast and it's it's really interesting. Talk so, about the history of Russia. What do you think is going on right now in uh, between? Uh, was it uh, Ukraine and and uh, and Russia? They're not uh, getting along. 
I know <laughs> that Russia is going to invade. I don't know. I, I don't know if Russia is. I wouldn't gonna... put anything past Putin. No? No. Yeah. no. I think he's saber rattling because he wants something out of somebody. You know. Maybe. Yeah, I Ukraine. think what he really wants is for uh, for the uh, no United Ukraine. States to promote and for the for everybody to promote that Ukraine does not become part of NATO. Yeah. Okay, that's what he really wants. Right. And if he can get some assurances to that, he won't do anything. You so know? they'll become part of the European Union. <laughs> That'll really screw him up. Yeah, that could be. But he, he doesn't want to be part of NATO, and uh, mm. that's that's his. He's using this as he. This is a, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, uh, yes, it's it's a, he's positioning himself. I'm I'm so screwed up, folks. I'm getting so old. I can't even I can't even talk straight. You don't look a day overnight. I, I don't know why I'm still doing this. You Are know? you constipated? Am I constipated? No. Uh, well, then you probably don't have one of the seven signs of Alzheimer's. <laughs> Is that one of the seven signs of Alzheimer's? Uh -huh. You shouldn't can't remember. Uh -huh. What, you can't remember to take a dump? Is that what it is? <laughs> so, so you have that sign is what you're saying, Bill. You go to, to do a carpet one thing in Florida, and the first thing out of your mouth is, I'm constipated. I can't shit at the <laughs> hotel. Yeah. Is uh -huh. it? Is that one of the signs of Alzheimer's? I never heard that. It's funny, though. I can't remember if it's Alzheimer's or dementia because well, uh, I got one of the signs. Yeah, no, 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 no. There are seven, oh, yeah. there are seven signs of, of, of Alzheimer's. Uh, yeah. The first sign is... Um, <laughs> Good answer. I can't remember that. Kind there of are that. six signs of Alzheimer's. Now they say that the first floor on. <laughs> memory is uh, there's there's uh, normal signs that you're really you know, worried about this, aren't you? Yeah. He is. Okay. He's well, can, tell me tell me what the signs are. Yeah. I can't remember. I all I remember was constipation. That was the only one I had. But uh, the the thing is that there are uh, signs that you think that you may have it, and some things are just normal, like if other people your age uh, walk into a room and don't remember why they walked into the room. I mean, I've got that, but that's I, I walk in. I walk into the kitchen to go get something, and halfway there I forget what I'm going into the what? kitchen for. Other people your age have the same thing, so that's completely normal. But uh, if you don't know where you are and you're disoriented and things like that, those are those are signs, uh, you know. And if you have trouble, you can't do t tasks, uh, uh, you know. That's not a problem. I, I can I can think in abstracts, and I you know. So <clears throat> I, I just have some of the normal signs. I, I of just age. I just forget a lot of terms and stuff like that now, which oh, yeah. you know. That, I, that's I, I mean, do I sound that way on the air, or am I pretty fluent? No. You're, no. Fluent. you're fine. Did you ever um, forget what you were going to Google? You're looking at the at the page. <laughs> oh, well, that, you know. That's Google fatigue. And John's only 50. <laughs> no, I'm 64. Are you really? You, well, you, you know me. what I think should be one of the seven signs of Alzheimer's? Uh, what's is, that? Is going onto YouTube and endlessly watching videos. Oh. Because I find myself... Do you find yourself doing that now? I'm lying there on the bed going, oh. Hours and hours. Yeah, I get like a black The 10 hole. things about Dean Martin you didn't know. I like watching the old stuff. Press yeah. one thing, and all of a sudden you see 40 TikToks uh, of uh, you're not wearing your uniform. Oh, well, TikTok's another one, though. Forget yeah. about that. TikTok, you just go, boom, boom, yeah. boom. You know, and they got stupid oh, music on TikTok. Yeah. They, have, they have Trump doing a dance on TikTok. Well, who yeah. cares? I mean, they also have some women with huge hooters. Yeah, uh, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a new site. I think it's Gabber or Grabber or something. It's a conservative site to compete with Twitter. You mean Parler? Twitter. No, it's a Gabber or, or, or something. Getter. 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 That's it. Getter, yeah. Getter? So I signed, I signed up for it the other morning. Of course. And you know what? You uh, forgot your password. No, it, I think uh, that it's it's got uh, the Chinese are blasting it because it, all the language was in Chinese. Even though I checked to make sure it was my I had tagged English, and uh, 
the the other thing is, is the writing on a lot of the things were ch was Chinese, and so I think. But well, what is it when they hack uh, a hack a site? And so I think it was hacked by the Chinese. So I, I got rid of, it. So, you know, I didn't because they asked you for a password. They asked you for uh, a name, your date of birth, your age. Uh, you know, and I figured, all right, uh, the chase is on the Chinese. Anytime they ask too much, you don't want to have anything to do with it. Yeah, yeah, the Chinese have my shit. They, oh my God, I got really one stupid. the other day that said, I mean, and here's how stupid they are, though, is, is I got a text that mm. said, uh, your HSBC account is being closed because of unscrupulous activity. Uh -huh. In order to check it out, click here. And I'm That's, thinking to myself, oh. how do they know I have an HSBC right. account? Right. In fact, they, they don't because I don't have an HSBC I account. I get the same thing for Wells Fargo. Your yeah, Wells Fargo too. credit card has been compromised. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, that's cool. It says click here. I never click because yeah. I don't have a Wells Fargo. Well, you card. click on it and it says it's been compromised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been compromised. Yeah. I, I get the, uh, your your Amazon order cannot be delivered. Yeah. Here. Like, I didn't order anything from Amazon. Yeah. 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 I, I think what they do is they send out you know spam like you know yeah. tens of thousands and once in a while somebody will be on amazon or wells fargo yeah. or hsbc but we'll here's here's that. the thing look you know we live in a time when we've got great computers out there we've got we we can create a thing called the iphone that's a, just it's a computer in your hand literally yeah. and uh we do all this and yet we can't do anything to stop that crap no. I don't think they want to. What? I, I don't think you want you, to. You don't want people from being no, scammed? No, I, I think companies I, don't. Stop it. I mean, you know, the Internet belongs to America. You know, the American government, doesn't it? No. You know, it, it, it was, uh, you know, yeah. it was developed for colleges. Those are the ones that hand out all the shit and uh, the licenses and, and so forth. Why couldn't the government put a put a stop to this? Um, they should be lately, able to. Lately, they've been, lately because they corporations been. don't want it. Marjorie want. Taylor Green just lost her account. Thing that they're <laughs> stopping, and that's not the government. That's Twitter itself. Was free speech, but uh, you know, from my side of the aisle. Wait a minute, free speech? Yeah. Uh, well, they, well, wait, wait, wait a minute. How do you consider? How do you consider Twitter a home for free speech? Well, it, uh, what I'm saying is, it, the isn't, isn't it owned by a private company? They can do anything with its with its site they want to do, but they're using the internet, which is not private, and uh, you know it was uh, it was developed by the government. They're paying and, to use the internet. Well, uh, that's great. You know, I could pay to use Twitter. Well, all I'm there. saying is, is that my feeling is, is that if Twitter is a private company, and if they don't want Marjorie Taylor Greene on their on their platform. They have every right to say no. Now, I'm, I, maybe I'm taking a position you should be taking because oh. you're the you're the conservative in this group, and you should you should stand up for Twitter doing whatever they want to do. Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, AOC should have their platforms. I don't agree with what AOC is saying, uh, it, but you know, of course, I was probably looking at her because I the wanted. The only to sleep. reason why they why they went after Marjorie Taylor Greene is because she was spreading absolute utter lies. Does it matter? No, yes, it COVID. does matter. It because it's a, there's a, it there's does a matter because the government has turned that. around. He's lying about that, just like Trump. You know, there were... Uh, wait, no, there wait, were wait, wait a minute, hold on a second. Because the fact is, the matter is, Phil, that, that uh, uh, you know, you want the these sites to be responsible, right? And, no, what they, no. and, and they're being called to the count to be responsible by the government. And then when they get responsible and it's not on your side, it's not, -um. it's not responsible. It's called there's a First Amendment and they're uh, not honoring a, a right. No, of the, no, there is no First, First Amendment, Phil. It's apply. a privately owned organization. Right. It's a stockholders organization. Right. It is a private organization. The First Amendment does not apply to anything no, on that nope, platform nope, or on Facebook. Not. The government can't. In the old days, you had a soapbox. You went down to the square or the park. Mm -hmm. You 
on mm-hmm. top of the soapbox, and you could state what it is that you wanted to state. Not in but, every, not in every city. That. Public place. Yeah, yeah, public place. That. Well, this is this is a, a, not a public place. You know, they're just monetizing it. Mm-hmm. And uh, all I'm know, saying, they, Phil, is that you're it. you're wrong well, in in your assumption, well. in your assumption that this is a. Uh, the First Amendment applies. It doesn't apply. It doesn't, it doesn't apply. apply to private individuals. Nope. It's- and the, the difficulty is you don't have the ability to get rid of it. I mean, if I get if I get rid of you, okay, mm-hmm. on this program right now, saying I don't like what you're saying, I think it's dangerous, it's dangerous speech, and I get rid of you. Don't I have a right to get rid of you? Of course you do. Uh, well, you do, but... You do. I mean, well, the only is, reason I don't have the right to get rid of you is because I like to feel that anybody can have access to this program, okay? As long as they're respectful of everybody else. That's the only thing that really bothers me, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you, if some guy Nazi came on spouting Nazi-ass bullshit, you would kick him off. Probably. Because, if he was Bill, outwardly Bill racist. Bill right yeah. kicking him off, too. Yeah. Huh? Bill would kick him off, too. Yeah, no, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doubting that. I'm not saying that you can cry, uh, yell fire in a crowded theater. Well, that's essentially what she's doing. But, you know, I don't think everything she's saying is wrong. It doesn't mean everything, but she keeps saying over and over again false information about vaccines. About about vaccines. This was basically, it was over vaccines, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. 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 And and I would probably get rid of somebody who was giving out false information about vaccines, too. If they flagged her as false, you know, you go on Facebook and all of a sudden you see a picture and, a, and, it's, and it's got a little eyeball and it says false and you can click on it and then you can see what it is that the person uh, posted. Why not do the same thing? If they feel that she's spreading misinformation, you label it misinformation and then you let Well, the you pe- see, but it, what they feel, and it, 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 they're, they're in a very thorny position, okay? Because people could accuse them of being dangerous to the public by allowing dangerous views to go across, things that impinge on the public health and welfare, okay? And that's what they kicked her off for. That's what they kicked Trump off for, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, They kicked dangerous comments. So he he couldn't uh, uh, do the same thing. You know, in 2016, Trump got elected because all the media thought he was a joke and they gave him so much free press. Yep. They were right. And yeah. getting elected. Yeah. And, oh, they didn't Man. want to make that same mistake in, uh, in now. So they've... That's, that's a good thing. Well, right. you... Uh, no, uh, what, did, did you hear that guy, his, his, his uh, crony on TV yesterday, basically admitting that they were trying to, uh, trying to do an, a coup? Uh, uh, he he, he just came out flat them. out and said the goal was to, you know, uh, uh, send send the uh, electors back to the, uh, no. to the states. Let, you know? let me That's basically you. a coup, you know. Oh, he flat this. out admitted it. If if uh, it, now Ivanka Trump said that she asked her father to uh, try to stop what was going on at the Capitol, mm-hmm. uh, do you think that any of those people that were at the Capitol? Had their uh, had the ability to hear a, a message from Donald. We don't Trump. know. I, there may be some people who were listening to the some, news. Maybe yeah. some. That's yeah, not- and they would have passed the word on to everybody else. My question is, Phil, how do you feel about the fact that your boy, who you love and would suck off if he were here in a second, uh, how do you feel that this guy waited? What was it? Ninety-five minutes, something like that. Oh, one hundred eighty-seven minutes. Uh, over three hours. Over three hours before well, he yeah. said anything, and then when he recorded two speeches, two of them they decided not to run because they didn't do the job. They were too nice. They were too almost incendiary. So finally, he did one in which he said, "Well, and I love you all." But you know, how do you feel about the fact that he did nothing to try and stop this insurrection? What could he have done? He could have done if he just tried to do something. He didn't well, try to do to something. He arm. didn't try um, to do something. Yeah. Even Hannity, the biggest uh, douchebag in America, <laughs> was calling <laughs> Mark Meadows and saying, no. will you tell him to do something about this? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Uh, 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 
John. John. Perhaps, John. Perhaps he shouldn't have been lying about it for the you know the whole year before the election about it being a fraud and then calling everybody to come to the uh, Capitol and 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 attack and fight with the uh, you know to stop the electors. Maybe maybe then uh, he the the thing well, would. You know the, the bottom line is while this was going on, Bill. Why did he not call the National Guard to stop it? it because it was up to Pelosi to do that. But no, no it wasn't. It was bullshit. But why was the president the of the United States. Getting back to what John said. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you, were you serious when you said Pelosi's job he was to do Pelosi. that? <laughs> like <the rhythm>. but <laughs> Pelosi, was being no Pelosi was in the fucking building being attacked. They were trying to get him. Yeah. her to do anything. Yeah, she said that she didn't want the police, uh, she didn't prepare for it, she knew that this could have been something that uh, could have taken place, and she didn't, she and Bowser, for the mayor, and... Uh, Bowser uh, was the mayor? You mean the, the guy who was in Shanana? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's no, I used to love that show. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor of... Oh, uh, Fine, uh, Phil. Don't shift the blame. Uh, well, that's that's hey, you're shifting the blame, but let, let me. Oh, yeah, Trump the didn't have anything to do United with it. Phil, 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 you've got it. You've got to admit that Trump didn't do anything. Trump kept saying that it was a fraud for the last year. Just to answer John's thing. no, but he was calling it a fraud ahead of time in case he had to call it a fraud, but he didn't know whether it was going to be a fraud or not. Turns out that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Georgia now they're they've got credible uh, uh, people that have uh, exposed the fact that there was enough like several hundred thousand fraudulent votes. Bullshit. Well, when you they counted the vote again, they had more vote for Biden. No, no, no. They're they're saying that uh, there was all of these. Phil, uh, Phil, what are the creditable sources? Well, it didn't uh, say that, but this. <laughs> <was> <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> Not one shred of evidence was presented. Yeah, well, they've got evidence now. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. bullshit. Why didn't they have evidence before? Because uh, it, it took time. Uh, no. <laughs> the first sign of Alzheimer's. <laughs> the first sign of Alzheimer's is thinking that tr uh, Trump won the election. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we know it's the first sign because Phil's got it. They still haven't released any proof. They still haven't presented any proof to the January 6th commission or to the FBI. Yeah, uh, jo here's the headline. Georgia begins probe of illegal 2020 ballot harvesting. And uh, who is starting that? What? Who is starting that? Who is starting that? Is it the same kind of people that were doing the thing in Arizona that wound up oh, giving man. Biden more votes? This is Brad Raffensperger, uh, who, uh, uh, so what they say is... Well, what does he do for a living? Uh, he's the Georgia Secretary, Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says state officials in Georgia are now investigating allegations that ballot harvesting practices unlawful in the state. What is ballot harvesting? I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, that was widely uh, was used widely during the November 2020 general election and the U.S. Senate runoff elections that followed two months later. Uh, let's see if I can find what it says ballot harvesting is or somebody can see, look it up. You don't even know what it is, and you're quoting him on ballot harvesting. <laughs> I, I know, but I want to give you a little You know what ballot harvesting is? Bill? It's called yeah, campaigning. Bill? And Bill? Bill? Wait, 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 wait. Bill? Give me your money. Let's, let's, give, let's give you that the, you're right, and Georgia screwed up. Is there enough electoral votes to change the presidential election? No. no, there's enough votes to, to change the Senate. Really? What? I, I think Trump screwed. Wait a minute, there's enough party, to change the Senate. This Senate was, Senate we're not talking party. about a Senate, hey. the outcome of the election for the Senate. We're talking about the outcome for the presidency and the electoral votes for that. I understand, right. but the ballot harvesting could have changed the outcome of the Senate election. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, they say that they have credible Wait a minute. allegations. I thought you said a moment ago this was about the the electoral college right. votes. No, no, this this oh. is about ballot harvesting, and it, uh, and this was in the Senate race. Both the presidential race and okay. the Senate race. You're confusing me, Phil, and you're confusing yourself. To be honest, <laughs> races. 
Yeah. It was the 2020 presidential race, and two months later, the Senate races in Georgia. I'll, okay. see. I'll send it to you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Don't send it to me. Because yeah. I, when you send it to me, I don't read it. You just don't read oh, it. Yeah. Well, that's one of the first signs of Alzheimer's. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, Not I, putting up with bullshit. That's a sign of Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just don't understand you, Phil. I just don't understand you. I you, don't understand why Twitter didn't look. You have to, uh, off uh, women, earlier. Alan. You have dinner with the, you have dinner with this guy. He's okay. He's a decent enough guy that you'll have dinner with him, especially Absolutely. since he picks up the I'm check, looking. right? Oh. Anyway, but but the fact of the matter is, Nobody he's a really he's a really me. decent guy to know and to have as a friend. And yet Absolutely. he's a complete moron where this is concerned. Okay, I don't get it. Okay, Big Al, here, here is the definition of ballot harvesting. See, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I should have looked at the phone. No, no, no. Half have uh, allow someone besides the voter to return a voter's mail-in ballot. According to this, uh, Democrats challenged uh, Arizona and ballot harvesting. Well, anyway, so it's it's turning in somebody else's ballot, but there were uh, a, a significant number of ballots that could have turned the Senate race uh, and possibly the uh, the um, pre the presidential election for Georgia. Uh, that there was a significant number of ballots that weren't mailed out, but were but were delivered by... Yeah, well, maybe, maybe those people they were delivering them for were indigent and old and couldn't yeah. get down there themselves, so they asked somebody to do it for them. Maybe they were phony ballots. Oh, maybe they... Maybe is the oh, big no, term no. here. Maybe. Maybe. Or for maybe. They, maybe they were... Or could it be Trump? The state. And it seems as though they also had a number of people voting, <laughs> uh, requesting ballots who lived out of state. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, there's enough shenanigans. Oh yeah, here. oh, oh I'm, 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 I'm worried about yeah. our democracy now. Yeah, all the yeah. shenanigans were Republicans voting more than once. Do you see where uh, where um, uh, Jimmy Carter today came out with a statement that he has spent his pretty much later life going around the world trying to stop voter fraud and voter yeah. fixing and so on, and he what? thinks maybe the worst place anywhere now is the United right. States here. in denying people their right to vote. Well, we're, we're basically on the verge of losing our fucking government and democracy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Thank you, thank do you Donald year, Trump. Trump. Your yeah. president can't remember where it is. That's because that's yeah. the first sign of Alzheimer's. Right. <laughs> he's checking boxes. Uh, he's got dementia, I think. Who? Uh, Alzheimer's was Trump. Biden's dementia. We got it. Yeah. No, yeah. Alzheimer's. Uh, me and Alex, but, but I'm reading this stuff about the ballot harvesting in Georgia, and yeah. and the whole thing is the whole story is coming from an organization called True the Vote, which yeah. is a right wing Republican yeah. you know, lobbying firm. So, are you going to believe those guys? Come yes. yes, yes, he will. Oh, he will. He'll yeah. believe anything yeah. that plays into his yeah. his perception yeah. of things. After the election, Alex kept asking me, "Hey, don't you admit that?" Trump lost. Don't you admit that Trump lost? He he was trying to shore up, you know, the the, the fraudulent election that had taken place, and you know he wanted me to, Phil, to buy. Phil, do you think the uh, the election was fraudulent? Of course, Trump oh. said. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right there that it wasn't. Yeah. Um, uh, let me just say something quickly before we we finish this. Uh, we have a governor. Her name is Kathy Hochul. She took over from Cuomo when he got upended. And it seems as though in the last couple of days, the attorney general, the attorney general of the state of New York or the attorney, the district attorney of, the, of the Albany has stated that they are not going to press charges against Cuomo, yep. that they don't have enough credible evidence in order to convict him. Okay. Does he get his job back? God, I wish he could, because this woman is doing a terrible job during COVID. I mean, yeah. we would have, we would have numbers would not be as high as they are right now if 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 uh, if uh, Cuomo was governor. Well, uh, uh, Adams is continuing the lockdowns and the mandates that. Thank God. Thank that, God. Uh, uh, your outgoing guy, De Blasio, put in. Yeah. Thank God. That, that, that's going to protect people, Phil. What does God have to do with it? 
I don't know. That's okay. a good question. So, uh, you know, all I'm saying is. I just think <clears throat> that's all. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm, it's interesting that Adams, although Adams is more pro police. Mm -hmm. and, and I wonder why. It's the police because he was a cop. Of course. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, people are optimistic that he's going to bring business back to New York. And, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I could imagine uh, continuing the mandates because he doesn't know one way or another uh, what the right thing to do is. And so it's like my mother. She, you know, if you asked her, can I go do something? She would say no. She didn't even know what it was you wanted to do. She'd say no because no was safe. You know, she didn't have to, yes, might meant that I did something, wrecked another car, you know, but, uh, you know, no was safe, and maybe that's what's going on in New York. Yeah, well, all I know is Faith that... Faith is good right now. All I know is that I wish that uh, that Cuomo were governor right now, because Hochul's doing a terrible job of administering this whole pandemic. Maybe he should run again. He can, actually, you know. <laughs> And I bet so. he, if he did, he'd get elected. Probably so. You know, I'd vote for him in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, I heard he uh, that there's a job opening in uh, at CNN, and he wouldn't have to change the nameplate. Straight <laughs> <laughs> The name on the parking space, I think, yeah. is the joke here. Um, oh, yeah, it, it, I, I just, uh, I think that whole thing that went down, and you know, and who's who's running for for governor now? Hochul. Oh, she, Hochul. And also the uh, prosecutor, uh, uh, the attorney general, uh, state no, of New York. No, she she said she wasn't going to now. Right. Yeah. What okay. about the, uh, but the Bill doctor? Bill doesn't follow the, the real Oz. De Blasio. De Blasio says he's running. How about Dr. Oz? Isn't he running? No, that's down in Pennsylvania. He's running I, for I, Senate, I the, think. How about the pillow guy? He's running too, isn't he? Oh, talking about the pillow guy. Mm. I put two of those goddamn pillows, and they give me a neck ache. I'm not good. I told you. Why did you go buy him? Did you go buy him because he's acting like a fucking yeah. moron? Oh, because Alan said that they're the best pillow he ever had, and I'm here to tell you that those pillows suck. <laughs> I don't know, Faye. Faye seems to like her pillow, no, doesn't she? She doesn't either. It's on the floor. Uh-huh. Now it now is the pillow you put between your legs, okay? <laughs> I would, except it's big. Uh, it, it doesn't crush. The pillow that. is that. that you gotta <laughs> clarify that. Yeah. What so is is Mehmet Oz actually? Get your money back. Mehmet, you know? Mehmet Oz is v v running for I think is it is Senate, is Senate uh, in in oh, Pennsylvania? Senate, yeah. Senate. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. In, uh, Ohio, isn't it? Uh, uh, Pennsylvania. It's, uh, Pennsylvania. No, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, but he, he, That's he, a wise job. You know who he's running against? He's running against that uh, that that guy. I think was the Secretary of State, and he was the <clears> one that made the bet with the dude in Texas, where he said, "If you can find the guy in Texas, said I'll give you a million bucks if you can find any, you know, fraudulent voters." Yeah. So he found the fraudulent voters, but they were Trump voters. <laughs> and the guy said, hey, where's my million bucks? Yeah. That guy's pretty well, good. He's going to win. I like that guy. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, there's our theme song. Yeah. It, it, there's it, also it, that guy running in Georgia, the athlete, uh, who I think. Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. That Walker. guy is stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Isn't he the guy that won't get, mm -hmm. uh, not, uh, won't get the vaccine? No, uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't He's care. I, think. I don't care. Hey, listen, Phil. Thank you for sticking around tonight. It's been, it's we didn't been. We up yeah. on you too hard, Phil. Yeah, uh, I can. He can take it. He, he can, can stand up for himself. Uh, and <laughs> Alan, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you so much, Tony. You calm down. You must have stopped drinking the coffee. Uh, and uh, 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 <laughs> I got a better background than him. Jeff has been pretty quiet tonight, but good having you here, Jeff and John Larkin. Thank you very much, everybody. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, that's our group. Uh, let me get rid of them here for a second. Let me uh, just to sign them all off. And the reason I do that is so that I, oh, hey, I'm in sync and everything. It makes me feel good. Hey, listen, uh, uh, The Intersection is next with Jack Bishop. Uh, I'll be back again right here tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her.
tell her I love her, okay? And by the way, wear a mask, will you? Or if you don't wear a mask, get an inoculation. If you don't do those other things, just don't leave the house. Leave us alone. Good night, everybody. Bye.